lovelies, welcome back. It's your girl Katie here and today's video I'm going to be doing my shop my stash for the month of May. Now how I normally do these videos is I will take you guys along with me as I pull the products and then after that I will do a trying on of the products on my face. So that's what I'm going to be doing today so to no further ado let's just go ahead and get started. Alright so starting off with eyeshadow palette first, the one I'm choosing this month is from Catrice Cosmetic and that is the Basic Bay Eyeshadow Palette. And it is true to its name, it's just a very basic neutral palette, just very, yeah, very basic. Alright, so moving on into setting spray and foundation for setting spray. I'm going to choose this one from Ciate London, this is the Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. Then for foundation, I'm going to choose this one here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Luminous Foundation in the shade 130 in. Alright, so that's everything for up here, so now moving on down to my drawers. Alright, so let's start off with lipstick first. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to pull this month. For lipstick, I'm going to pull this Doll 10 um, lipstick in the shade What Are You In? Watermelon Bliss. It's this nice kind of nude, like kind of, it's actually darker than a nude. It's like a, I don't even know. It's that color. I can't think of it right now. But anyways, there's that. And then I'm going to choose this one up from ColourPop. This is their Barbie collection. This is in the shade Dream House. And it's this nice kind of like pinky, pinky nudish color. So I'm going to choose those two. Then I'm going to choose this Lawless Forget the Filter Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Lip Gloss. I'm not a huge fan of plumping glosses, but I do have it in my collection. So I'm going to use it up. It's in the shade Rosy Outlook. I really like the packaging, I will say I love this frosted glass, so I'm going to choose this. Then over here for liquid lipstick, um, I really don't have a ton. Uh, I'm going to choose this one and this one. I'm going to choose this one here from Dose of Colors in the shade Truffle and then this one from Jaclyn Hill in the shade Last First Kiss. And that'll be everything that I'm going to pick out for lip products. So moving on down. Alright, so for mascara. So for mascara, I'm going to choose this one here from L'Oreal. This is the Air Volume Mega Mascara. So I'm going to choose that one. Next up, concealer. For concealer, I'm going to actually choose two this month. And I don't usually do that, but I want to use up this pretty vulgar one. Um, but it is like a very light concealer, like super light. So usually if I have blemishes or anything, it doesn't do a really good job of covering that up. So just in case, I'm going to pull my Tarte one as well in case I need to cover up any blemishes. The Pretty Vulgar one is in the shade 60, a Little White Lies, and this Tarte one is in the shade Fair Beige. So pulling these two. For setting powder, I'm going to choose this Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. Then for brow products, I just remembered I didn't pick anything for brows. For brows, I'm going to pull this Hourglass one. This is the Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. It's in the shade Warm Brunette. Alright, so that's everything picked from this drawer, so moving on. Alright, so normally I would go and pick my bronzer, blush, and highlighter after the drawer that I just did. But I'm going to choose a face palette this month. I usually switch out between each month. Some months I'll do singles. Other months I'll do a face palette. And this month is face palette. So, so I'm choosing this Catrice Cosmetics face palette here. This is the California in a Box Bronzer and Blush palette. It also has a highlighter in it. And here is what it looks like. So you got two bronzers, two blushes, and one highlighter. So that is what I'm going to be choosing. All right, so that is everything picked out. So now moving on into the trying on part. All right, so now that all the products have been pulled, it is time to try them on my face. So starting off first, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Luminous Foundation. It is in the shade 130 in. I got this recently in a BoxyCharm box and my first impressions was that I liked it. So I'm going to keep trying it out this month and see if I really like it. Because like I said, that was my first impressions. 
All right, so from what I remember, it was about medium coverage. I would say not super heavy, but not light either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. I can't remember if this is like my, if this shade matched me, I hope it did. Sometimes when I get foundations and boxy charms, I have trouble, you know, picking out my right shade because you just go off of what you see online. All right, so foundation has been blended out. So now I'm just gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna go in with two concealers because like I said, that foundation really isn't like a heavy coverage. I would say it's more of a medium coverage and I do have a little bit of blemishes poking out here and there. So I'm gonna have to go in with two different concealers because I chose the pretty vulgar one to conceal around my eyes and stuff and do kind of like the highlighting stuff. Whereas I'm gonna use the Tarte one because, um, I'm gonna use the Tarte one to cover up the blemishes because from what I remember correctly, the Pretty Vulgar one is very light, so it's not really great for covering up blemishes, so that's why I have two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with that. I will say this Pretty Vulgar one is really not my favorite. It's super light, and I just feel like it doesn't conceal the best. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to go in with more because just even concealing under my eye area, I feel like it just didn't do anything. I don't know, it may be time to let this one go. It may be getting old. I have had it for a while. It's just like, it would probably be good for someone who just wants like super light coverage. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to cover up the blemishes. All right, and then to set my face, I'm gonna go in with a Too Faced Born This Way Ethril Setting Powder, is what it's called. All right, face is all set, so it's finally time to do my brows. So going in with the Hourglass, um, what is this called? Something Brows Sculpting, Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in the shade Warm Brunette. It's super tiny, it's kind of a flat tip. It does not have like a point. Just flat tipped. Going in with this. All right, so brows are all done. I don't do too much to them. I just fill them in, especially in the areas that are a little bit thinner than others. Um, but yeah, moving on. Now it's time to finish up the face. I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Cosmetics California in a Box palette here, face palette, it has, it comes with two bronzers, two blushes, and a highlighter, so I'm just going to go in, probably mix the two bronzers, I'm not really sure which shade is going to be better for me, so I'm just going to mix them, because that usually works out for me, all right. I think this is actually the first time I've used this palette, I think. I think, I can't really remember. I'd say the bronzer's okay, it's not my favorite. I feel like it's a little bit on the redder toned. I don't know, I feel like it's giving me a little bit of a red cast or something. I don't like bronzers that have like a red tint to them. Um, I guess those are more considered like warmer bronzers. I prefer more cool toned bronzers. I just find that they look better on me. That's just my preference. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go into the blush and I'll probably mix the two of them as well. So yeah, not a huge fan of the bronzer, but we'll see. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying not to be too critical about myself because I keep looking in the mirror and I just, I've had a kind of like a rough skin time right now. I've had several breakouts and my breakouts with my drier skin, they get dry. Like once they, the pimple goes away, it just gets dry around that area. And I've had several like little pimples and they haven't finished going away just yet. So they're just, just dry. It's just very dry right now. And I don't like how the foundation looks because of that, just because it's, it's, to common with foundations to cling to my dry areas. I've not found one that doesn't do that. And it's not the foundation's fault, it's just my skin texture. Um, 
But anyway, so I keep just seeing this big dry area in the mirror and it's, it doesn't make me happy. But I'm just gonna push past it. The blush shade is actually really pretty. I do like the blush shade that I'm putting on. There's just this huge dry area right here. I don't want to zoom out because I don't want you guys to see it. And these don't have shade names, by the way. They're just, just the blush and, yeah, they don't have shade names on the back, so. That's why I haven't been telling you guys the shade names. Wow, that highlighter is really blinding. I was not expecting that. Maybe I put too much on. I mean, I don't mind it being that blinding, but. Dang. Catrice Cosmetics. All the highlighters I've tried from them are really good, in my opinion. Like, they're super blinding, and Catrice Cosmetics is a pretty affordable brand, so, yeah, I'm surprised people don't talk about their highlighters more, because they're just... That's like Ofra Cosmetics. Like, kind of bling, you know? Or shine. Kind of glow. Yeah, dang. I, I am glowing. They definitely have their highlighter formula down. Yeah, I'm impressed. I may have gone a little heavy-handed, but that's okay. It, it's fine. Alright, so face is complete, so now moving on into the eyes, and I'm going to go in with the palette. And the palette I'm using is from Catrice Cosmetics and is the Basic Bay Eyeshadow Palette. And it is true to its name. It's a very basic nude palette. So super, super basic, and that's okay with me. I like basic neutral palettes, they're my favorite, so this is all up in my alley. So, so I'm gonna go in with Hashtag Squad. It's just this nude shade, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of prep my eyes, kind of set my eyelids, because that uh, concealer did crease on me. I'm just gonna blend it out, set it, prep it. All right, so that shade's on, so now I'm gonna go into hashtag mode, M-O-T-D, I don't know how to say that, mod? I don't know. The names are kind of weird. They're all hashtag something, so like hashtag basic, hashtag basic, hashtag wifey, hashtag goals, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna go into this darker tan shade now and blend that out. All right, so that's blended out, and now I'm gonna go in to hashtag TBT and put this out on the outer corner, kind of darkening up the outer corner. Now I'm gonna go into this shimmer shade here called hashtag MUA, and I'm gonna place that on the lid. Now I'm going to go into this one over here called hashtag no filter and place that towards the inner corner. I don't know. I think this is my first time using this palette, so this is kind of a first impressions. And honestly, I'm not, I don't know, this is going to sound weird coming from me because you know how I love a good neutral palette. I love neutral palettes. They're my favorite out of them all, but this one is actually a little on the boring side, and I, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, why is it boring? Because these are all colors that I would normally like. Um, I think it's just the colors are all really similar. Like, looking at all the shimmer shades, let me just give you guys a close-up again. Looking at all the shimmer shades, they're all really, really close together. Like, there's not much of a difference. Um, and honestly, I think it's just the shimmer shades that I'm not... I think it's honestly the shimmer shades that I'm not liking. Like, they're okay quality, but they're all really, really similar. So, like, you know, I just put one on, and then I put another one on, and honestly, I don't really see much of a difference. Maybe the other, the second one is a little bit lighter, but they're really similar in shade, so I'm not really getting that different pops. Because I like to go in with like a gold shade, 
and then maybe like a really like light uh what would the color be um it's not a silver but kind of like a pearl i guess a pearl shade is what i like and then i pop that in the inner corner just to kind of like bam bam you know kind of thing and this one's just not really giving me that so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I decluttered this palette um, in the future someday. And honestly, I think it's because I have other neutral palettes that I like more than I like this one. This one's just kind of like, eh, it's nice, but you know, I have other ones that I prefer. Um, and yeah, it's just not, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe my taste is changing. This is just not satisfying me. Um, but I will keep using it for this month. Maybe I will grow to love it. Um, we will see. So far, not impressed. And the quality is okay. But I mean, like, this is kind of like drugstore quality, so I can't really expect too much from it. All right, so that's basically what I'm gonna do for eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my eyes off camera, do my bottom lash line, do eyeliner and all that good stuff. And then I'll be back to try out the last few products. All right, so eyes are all finished and now moving on to the rest of the products. So going in with mascara, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara here. Here is what the wand looks like. Not my favorite looking wand. I, I, I remember buying this a long time ago to try it out. I don't know how, don't really remember how I feel about it, but from just from looking at the wand, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. It just doesn't have much there. You know, I feel like the mascara, it doesn't have a good stopper in there, so or scraper, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of the mascara, a lot of a lot of the product is staying on the wand. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work for application, but we will see. Maybe the formula of the product is really, really good. But I am having to scrape it off just to get the bristles enough to where I could actually, you know, put my eyelashes through there. But anyways, here we go. All right, so that's on. It did give me some volume. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it though, because like I said, the wand is really weird. Like the bristles aren't very long, and then that it doesn't have a scraper, stopper, whatever you want to call that thing at the top is. It doesn't control how much product is getting on the wand, so I'm having to scra scrape it off on the sides of the bottle just to be able to apply it. So that's kind of annoying. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. But we'll I'll wait and see how it goes. Hopefully, it won't flake or anything. Like I said, I, I bought this a while back and I don't remember anything about it. I didn't even remember, I didn't even remember that the wand was like that. Um, so yeah, that might be why I haven't used it in a while. All right, so now moving on to lips. All right, so what do I want to do today? I think I'm just going to go in with the Dosa Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Truffle. This is one of my absolute favorite nudes out there. I haven't used it in a while, but it is one of my favorite shades. So I know I'm gonna like this. I don't even know if they discontinued this shade. I hope they haven't because this is one of my my absolute favorite nudes. It's just it's it's my go-to shade. And once that dries down, I am gonna go ahead and go in with a gloss. This is from Lawless. This is forget the fill forget the filler. This is the lip plumping line and smoothing gloss. It's in the shade Rosy Outlook, which I believe is just kind of like a, yeah, it's just kind of like, it's a clear gloss, but uh, it smells weird. Um, but it, it's kind of got like a pinkish tint to it. There, I would give you guys a close up, but you really can't see the shade that much. I don't think the camera will pick it up. It's just kind of a pinky clear gloss. I hope it's not super plumping because I don't like it when they kind of burn and tingle. It's definitely a thick gloss though. Oh no, I do feel it. It's tingling. But I do really like the shine that it gave my lips. I just wish it didn't sound so gross. I just wish it didn't tingle. I wish it wasn't plumping because I do really like that shine that it just gave my lips. All right, and then last but not least, the setting spray. And the setting spray I'm going to be using this month, this month is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst uh, Setting Spray. Mm. 
Mm, it smells like watermelon. It smells really good. All right, and that is all the products on my face. That's gonna conclude today's Shop My Stash. Um, so yeah, just kind of an overall run through. There's definitely some products in here that I'm really looking forward to using this month. And then there's also actually some products that I've found in my collection that are kind of duds. And I'm this is why I'm glad I do this. I go through my collection, I pull products, try, you know, different ones here and there because then that really refreshes my memory on products. And also, I feel like sometimes my mind changes on certain products. So the two products that I'm talking about, if you're wondering, actually three, um, that I kind of feel like they're duds is the Pretty Vulgar uh, concealer here. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if it's because I have other concealers now, so I'm kind of comparing this one to other the, the other ones that I really like. And this one I'm just not liking. I will continue using it this month, but after this month, I probably will end up just tossing it because I really don't like it. Um, when I was applying it, for one, it's super light coverage, which is not a big deal. I could get past that, but I am noticing it seems like where I applied it, I feel like my foundation has kind of shifted a little bit, and I don't think it's the foundation because I used that foundation before, and I used a different concealer with it, and it didn't shift. Um, I think it just might be this the formula of this. I feel like it's too watery or something, and it's... I don't know. Maybe it's old. It could be old. So maybe I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's just really old. But I still don't like that it had is such little coverage and it was creasing a lot. And if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure it's always creased, even when I first got it and, you know, it wasn't bad or anything. It wasn't old. It It's still creased really bad. And um, I feel like there's a lot of different concealers now that you could buy that don't do that. And they're pretty affordable, like Elf's. Elf's concealers are pretty good, and their camo concealers, those are the ones I'm talking about specifically, and they don't really crease that much. Um, but I feel like, yeah, this, I'm not, I'm not thrilled to have in my collection anymore. And then this mascara, I don't like. It doesn't look bad on the eyes. Um, it, it gave it some volume and lengthened them pretty well, but it's the applicator that I really don't like. I don't like that I have to scrape it and do so much extra work just to apply mascara. I don't like the brush. The brush bristles are really not long enough to do a good job of getting under my lashes and the fact that it doesn't have anything to control how much mascara gets on the wand and that I have to manually, you know, get most of the product off just to be able to apply it. That's kind of annoying. So I have a feeling that after this month I will probably get rid of this one as well. I'll probably just throw it in the garbage because although there's still quite a bit left in here, I don't know. I'll ask my family and friends if they want it, but I don't know, I just feel like it's such a hassle to put it on that I don't really feel like it's worth giving away at this point, but yeah. And then the last product that I'm not really impressed with so far is the, um, the palette. I don't know, I feel like the color selection is kind of lackluster and I'm noticing that I feel like that darker shade that I put on the outer corner is fading. Like I don't see it as well as I did when I first applied it. So I'm wondering if it's kind of falling off or just fading away. I don't know. I didn't touch my eyes too much, you know, aside from just putting mascara on, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it's not looking that great. And the shades didn't really impress me. So yeah. But other than that, all the other products I'm pretty excited about. Even this um, gloss that I just tried on, it didn't do too much. So I'm glad. Like I thought I was concerned at first when I applied it. I was like, oh no, I can feel the tingling. I can feel the tingling, but then it just went away within like a couple of seconds, so that's good. It's not one of those overpowering plumping <laughs> glasses, so that's good. And I really like how it feels on the lips. I don't know, it just gives it that really good gloss. But anyways, yeah. The other product that was the first time trying was this palette here, and I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I really like the blush shade, and I really like the highlighter. It's the bronzer that I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like it looks too much like a blush shade on me, because look, it, that looks pinky. And I didn't bring my blush down that far, so I think the bronzers are not going to work for me. So I may end up just pulling another bronzer out of my collection and using the palette and the bronzer together. Um, but that's okay. I don't think I'll get rid of this, just because I do really like the blush shade, and I do really like the highlighter as well. So... Uh, the bronzer's not working out for me doesn't bug me that much, you know. Three out of the five shades in here work for me, so that's fine. I'm not not too mad about that. 
But yeah, that is going to it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because that really does help with my channel. And also let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my picks this month. Do you guys have any of these products? And if you do, which one is your favorite? Let me know down below because I love chatting with you guys down there. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.